What's up, shooters? My name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to SP Reviews, where today we're going to be checking out an album from an artist named Sam R.I. titled Rush Hour. Without further ado, we're going to switch over to Spotify, where we have eight tracks, and there's a few other artists, including Joe Dank and uh, P. Rob, the underrated. We're going to start with the title track, uh, Rush Hour, and we're going to go through each other one by one and listen to them in entirety, and we're going to hear what we think. Just going to make sure my headphones... Oh, not bad. Oh. I'm kind of liking that organ kind of tone to this, eh? Oh. All right, I'm loving this vibe. I'm loving the lo-fi kind of hip hop influence here. The guy's got bars. I just have to make sure I'm paying really close attention because of how much is going on in the overall sort of composition. There's a fair few elements that, and uh, yeah. This is a really interesting story this guy is telling. I'm taken away by the drums, you know, those really glistening kind of synths in there, the sub bass. And I love the way as well that every four bars is just a, like a kind of a, like a choke. And then a new sort of set of lines begins. I, I think these are all interesting elements we've got on display here. I'm assuming this is the hook. And verse two, right? Oh. New at seven o'clock, the Coronado Bridge has the third highest suicide rate in the country. What's this about? Like he was talking about his hustling and his folks on getting stuff done and sort of crashing things and such. It's just talking about people being overworked and resorting to suicide as ways of escaping the rat race. Four years, the bridge numbers increased by 50%. Oh shit, this is getting really dark, isn't it? People are dying here. Or maybe it's more simple than that. Oh. Damn, man, is he discussing that? Like, is this going to be about certain things that are happening around him? So, like, is this going to be a really deep dive? That was Rush Hour, and now we've got Interstate. Oh. we got some nice brass going on here. Oh, that is a lovely sounding trumpet there. Very somber. Man, he is like, he's talking about all these different concepts and like, I'm hearing him, like his vocals are mixed pretty well. It's just keeping up with all the stuff he's discussing. It's um, trying to sort of piece it together on a first listen. Uh, Sam R.I. is one of these artists where you really, there's a lot of replay value virtually because it's kind of required to sort of catch everything that he's talking about. There's a lot of pieces to the puzzle in both of these tracks, despite the fact they're two minutes. There's a lot of content in here. Cooling, calm, ducking pigs off the interstate. 
And we got the hook here, right? I can't get over the fact that I think there's the Windows kind of notification sampled in there. That butterdome, that kind of sound. Is is that am I right? Have I heard that correctly? If not, I'm just tripping, but it sounds a lot like it. My Stilo Colossal, so I'm assuming he's talking about his lyrics. Talking about Pigs Police, I, I assume. Controversial take right there. Um, talking about these honeys and his hustle and all that. Duck and pigs off the internet. Is this like basically hustling however way you can just so that you can make a living? Shit. I'm liking the structure of these with like the verses and then the hook in between. And then like a sample like that. There's some interesting statements being made here. Um, obviously not all of them positive, but that's just the state of mu music doesn't need to be happy. Um, Don Quixote by Sam Arai and Joe Dank. I'm, I'm as well, I'm loving the kind of LP-ish kind of crackle that I can hear across these. It's, it gives a nice sort of um, togetherness with this composition overall. I'm paying attention to this stuff because these little touches which, oh. Everyday struggles goes balling on the budget. So like Black roses that I'm huffing. And we got the hook! Sick. I'm assuming this is Joe Dank. And this is, this is Samurai, I think. Oh, maybe I've got them confused. I'm still getting used to the tonality of his voice. Like shit, listen, sound, listen to that. Listen to that clarity and that delivery of those lines. Listen to how skillful. That's not easy stuff to do there. Sky's on a lot of level. Both of these rappers are pretty solid. What the fuck is going- What the fuck is that? How are they doing that? How are they doing that? Dude, I can't even speak that fast talking. They can do it rapping to a track. That must- I wonder if they're like one takers or if they took need like multiple sort of runs to get that sort of I'm lo I'm I love the, the the groove. I love the groove the boom. I love the kind of jazzy kind of lounge elements with this hip hop. I love the overall again like that very kind of low key kind of Hip hop vibe with the with the drums that are keeping that groove. Like it is a faster song than the other two, but I dig it. And back to the hook. Extra read about it, more standard. They're, they're talking about themselves being Picasso. I'm not sure if that's in jest or not. They're pretty freaking good, but like, 
I, I noticed there's a lot of confidence in here in these tracks about the way they're delivering their lines and stuff. And, you know, often when you hear it, it's like, yeah, you're not bad, but like with these guys, I think, yeah, genuinely, you guys have every reason to brag about your skills. You've earned it. You worked your asses off, obviously. That was a nice little repeater there at the end. I see winter. Oh, oh, it's like a Christmas song. Something from the olden days. Getting a real kind of 90s hip hop vibe. My classic now, you take TVA, your rock star games on GTA. I'm from the era when the hustlers and tear your wig up. So bad, so barely. I love the the strings in these compositions and how sort of beautiful and luxurious they are. They contrast some of the really hard hitting lines of this, and I think that juxtaposition is sort of how this is all working the way it is. Um, it's not easy to get contrasting elements working together, but I think that is the brilliance of this kind of subgenre. Yeah. Everyone's a cat now, afraid of the dogs. Five nine thinking. See, that's this stuff. Every line contains a little zinger. You know what I mean? So much content. I feel like you could listen to this repeatedly and find new stuff every time. Is that like an oboe? Or a clarinet? One of those two. Again, I'm loving the way it's been sort of affected by auxiliaries. And a harp. And it was a hook. Or an intermission. With no vocals. Between- I, I dig that. I like that. On the cut, give you blue tapers. I want the cheese up front. I can't do favors. Blue paper come. I want the cheese up front. Sorry, I know that I seem like a kid in a candy shop, and maybe like a like a hundred and seventy year old man who's never heard hip hop before. I have <laughs> I've listened to a reasonable amount of hip hop during these reviews, especially over the course of this year. And just I'm blown away time and time again by what's on display. There's so much intelligence. They're getting left like they can't write. See, this wordplay is on point. It's on point. With Icy Winter, I'm wondering if that's describing literally a part of his life, whether things are a lot colder than they used to be now. Whether the music is more related to that tonality, because it does sound, kind of sound like winterish wonderland kind of music, you know what I mean? It sounds like he's in a snow lodge somewhere. Um, Jewelry by Sam R.I. and P. Rob the Underrated. Oh, I'm digging the kind of the swingish vibe to this. And that lead piano is pretty dope too. Oh. I've been to Hong Kong and Tijuana, California king size of Ryan sleeping on her. Survived a couple things, surprised to see tomorrow. Getting higher than a private flight from T to Barra. Energy can never be destroyed, I leave an aura. Your girl around the team more than a beat reporter. Beat reporter, there's no need for you to worry anymore. Gotta read and good and drink and feed you water. Infinity don't bring with me, I need. This is hip hop, why these rappers singing for? 
misled more than fleet drinking water port. I dig it. He's talking about how successful he is, and he's also calling out other artists as well. I I love I love that sort of it's a very interesting perspective, because this guy's obviously sort of making it. But he's not done just yet. He's like, right, I know I got my Fiji water, but also I want other people to sort of step up to the same standard. Underrated, under impressed, overboard. Sure, you got a lot of drip on Chinese water torture for it. PM Breezy, the new Chinese water torture. Captain Ori War Report. Got a couple critics raving like this Baltimore. Fuck up, got my doggy in the dog. Town. Shit, man. The saxophone is so sultry and everyone else is playing along while this guy just spits fire. I, I dig, I dig, I, again, I love this combination so, so much and I have not heard enough of it and I want to learn, I want to listen to a lot more from this specific genre. Like when I said before that I'd listened to a lot of hip hop with these reviews, I haven't listened to as much of this specific type of hip hop. You know, the kind of stuff where they're bringing back those kind of, um, kind of lounge jazz kind of influences. I, I, I do, I dig it a lot. I haven't listened to enough of it. I want more. Oh, and that's it, it's done. These guys don't hang around for longer than they need to, do they? They're just in and out. And we've got a very classy little fade out here. So I'm assuming that one was more about like people who are successful and like the methods they get and kind of showing shade on it. And then like, maybe, maybe they're talking about each other. I, I don't know. And we got that kind of crackle again for whatever, man. I know this standard. I know this one. It's been sampled. I think it's been sampled. I remember hearing it on one of the jazz Spotify playlists. Um, but obviously, of course, with hip hop and other genres, it's okay to take pieces from different tracks. As long as you're doing something new with it, right? It's whatever, man. Trying to save up a dollar out of crash the whip. And now back flipping trees on his bus and shit. All I know is my folks don't raise the real one. My heart passed a pair. I'm looking to heal one. Took balls for the bros who never returned that. Cold world made a path to never return back. Can't love no more. I fucking I go. I guess it's something to do. Wanna hustle for dope. It rains and it pours. My tears dried up. Nightmares of homies who dead. Why us? Fuck the buzz, I want the money in peace. I ain't cut for them interviews, give me the cheese. <laughs> Nobody, buddy, I ain't looking to chill. You see the bags under my eyes, I'm looking to fill my backpack with whatever help me pay my bills. Y'all can hate my seeds, never hate my skill. 38 to the tank, one strap to blow. I keep a one double O, what you acting for? It's whatever, man. It's whatever, man. It's whatever, man. Sick. I'm following this song particularly well. He's just basically saying, yo, I know I gotta do all this shit. I, I know. I know I might not be looking like some of the, some of the, yeah, I just, just, just pay me. <laughs> just pay me. I just need to be able to pay my utilities. I get that. I vibe with that. You gotta do what you gotta do, I. It's whatever, man. It's whatever, man. I made a name for myself, kept raising the bar. I handled the footwork while you stayed in the car. Shoes with no socks, some battles and got socks. The shows at empty venues and wanting to stop. Wouldn't say I made the best, but I made my own. I was searching for heart when it stayed at home. Missing goodbyes, left a part of me dead. I'll probably do it again if it meant leaving my head. All I know, get your own name. I'm probably doing it if it meant leaving my head. Body the Interesting. Same. Opened up both my eyes, ain't body in pain. Land of the free, everybody would say I was at the jury store and everybody in chains, damn. 
38 to the tank, one strap to blow, I keep a one double O with a whack to fall. It's whatever, man. It's whatever, man. Dig, I dig it. I think this is one of my favorites. I can kind of more relate to this one. Oh. The fuck happened then? Buzz. That gave me a fry, man. What happened then? Number seven, Buzz. Pray to homie watch over me from above. Hope his soul rest in peace while I'm kidding. Wait a minute. Is this like a- is this- is this a story that's being told throughout this album? On our skin, just like stickers. We bet cash on games and hustle classmates from 10 sacks as freshmen to Mackin and slapping air banks. Now the homie lock and sentence for a slew of things. We have planned to live the finest like Dumalay. It's a shame how shit change and fall apart, even with a clean hustle and a ballless heart. It do some shits in your brain when your true ones die Or fuck your whole life up when it's suicide I can't shit. help but feel blank Shit, that's why we drink All this tree on our persons Yeah, that's why we stink I got drama at home I got some bitch in my phone Yapping about whatever While I prep for this show I said, pray to homie watch over me from above Hope his soul rest in peace while I'm catching his buzz. Hope the homie get out and don't go back to the fuzz. Hope his soul gains strength while I'm catching his buzz. This got really dark, didn't it? Is this about someone that was really... Was this about... Was this thy personal experience for Samurai? Heaven how? Like, is this like a through sort of composed album in the sense that it's telling the story over it, like a concept kind of album? Where it's going, it, like, it's just one big song telling a sort of an uh, tale? I, I kind of, like, what would it, have I just not... Am I tripping right now? Anybody fold like paper for the same as coke. I told myself by any means like Malcolm. I won't worry long as the fam good when I'm dead and I'm buried. The shit got real, didn't it? The scar real. Down for whatever they get the scar real, man. The truest part of my soul in 2012 still. Shit is ill. I'm Pagula for them bills oh. now. None of my friends is that. We out to make this shit work just that. We used to flex like 24 hour gym members with new gear. Now we lit embers on bridges each new year. Sometimes I miss the mother jackets from my coat rack. Till my tears turn to deserts when the dope stack. Uh. Lord forgive me, I stopped believing and even tried Welcome to Venom when the realest one breathe and die I see a pattern when I'm doing well I do in heaven what I do in hell uh, I see a pattern when I'm doing well the hook. Truthfully I do in heaven what I do in hell I think that with an album like this, it's clearly up to interpretation. You know, I think we need to immediately just throw away any concerns about the production, about the musicality of it, 
This is just not at that. This is beyond that. So I don't have a single doubt about anything that has been shown to me today in terms of the way the music's been put together. It's been produced excellently and eloquently to the subject matter of each of the songs. It's all just, it's flawless. As I said before, there are, it's like, each of these songs is like an onion, only until you get to the end. <laughs> because it's like, it's almost like with this album, things seem so complicated until the end where you realize that the person might have actually killed themselves. Because they just don't see things improving, no matter how successful they are, no matter how much they hustle. No matter how well they do, it never, it never stops. It, it never stops and for a lot of people they just don't find a way out of it and you know it happens with a lot of really people have done incredibly well those demons are still there and for some people unfortunately it just takes them no matter who who they have in their life you know i i don't want to be i don't wanna, i don't want to sort of dwell too much on this because i think every you know i could be wrong about this and then that would just make an ass out of myself. I I I I just think Samurai is just just a phenomenal rapper. I I couldn't find a single word that I thought was inappropriate. There was so clever. The the stories were illustrated so well. There were so many different things discussed. It would have taken a very long time to written those songs individually, let alone an album. And I just, I have a lot of love and, and respect and appreciation for Sam R.I. as a musician because if this is his own experience that he's talking about, like with someone he knew, like starting with Rush Hour talking about the suicide rate on that bridge and finishing on it, it kind of gives you a hint about what the song might be about without it, it kind of, without you deliberately connecting the dots until the very end where it gets very, very blunt. Aside from the philosophy, the messages of the song, you know, I just, I don't really know what else to say about this. I think that the, the, the sort of the, the, the brass instruments, the strings, the kind of xylophones and all that, and those kind of sort of, you know, those very, very old school hip hop drums, they, they just work so well together. They should have so, they, they sound bittersweet. They sound almost melancholic. There is a little bit of hope in some of the melodies and harmonies and in other parts. It's just, it's just mourning. It's just sadness. It's not the middle, it's the other end. There's no part of this which sounds overly exciting or positive or upbeat because I don't think the rush hour is meant to be that way. I don't think this is meant to necessarily be a good time. This is meant to be the real stuff, the real shit. This is what this album is supposed to be about. And in that respect, I think Samurai has completely nailed it. And if this is not from personal experience, and this is one of the best stories that I have heard in an album from a musician. And this guy is just unparalleled. So that is my review of Rush Hour by Samurai. Hopefully I haven't completely misinterpreted it. I think that it's worth listening to this album repeatedly, even if it can be painful at times. Please do show Sam R.I. a lot of love, as well as Joe Dank and P. Rob the Underrated by checking out the various social medias and Spotify's. Stay cool, stay safe. Please also remember to support your local musicians at this point in time. It's, it's, you know, it's crazy times out there and they need all the, the help and support they can get. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.